Hi all, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see the second topic uh, in Databricks Spark certification series. So we are in day two today. Uh, in this, in today's session, we are going to cover how to create a multi-column Spark data frame using a list and also how to create a single column data frame without providing a type. In day one, we have seen the introduction session and how to create a single column Spark data frame using a data type. So today we will first see how to create a single column spark data frame without providing a type. First we will create a list, the ages list which has a list of tuples like I have a list and inside the list I have a tuple like 21 comma 23 comma 41 comma 32 comma. So this is a list of tuple. So if I see the type of ages list, it is list. If I go inside that list and see any one index, it will be a tuple. Type of ages list of two which is a tuple. The first up way is like the first approach is like spark dot create data frame ages list. So which will directly create a data frame without throwing an error. If I create a data frame uh, out of a list, uh, it, then it will throw an error saying that the data type is not defined. But in the case of list of tuples, we don't need to specify the data type. Using tuple, we can create a data frame without providing a data type. With the Python list of tuples, we can't give the data type, but we can give the schema. So let's see that how we can do that. In a schema, the second approach, right? The Spark dot create data frame ages list comma. We can pass the schema like a list out of that, and we'll give the column name like age. If you're not providing a column name, it will get create with the default column name like underscore one underscore zero like that. So then in the second one, we can even pass the age the column name as well as the data type like spark dot create data frame the ages list is the list of tuples and then we can pass the string value of age space integer so that the column name will be created as an age and the data type will be considered as an integer now we will see uh, how to create a multi-column data frame so we'll have a users list which will have a list of tuples. The first in the list of tuples, first element will have a one comma Scott and second is like two comma Donald. So if we try to create a Spark dot create data frame users list, which will automatically create a data frame with a default schema, uh, which means right a default column name and whatever the data type it has like uh, underscore one and uh, which the column name is underscore one with the big int and column uh, sec second column is underscore two with a string the column names are generator system generator to phase it to uh, give the schema what we can do the spark dot create data frame uses list comma and then we can pass an, a column name and an, uh, the data type like user underscore id integer and then name uh, uh, is in a string okay so that the data frame will be created with user id instead of a default name underscore one the column name now is created with the user id and the in, uh, the default data type is big int, but now as we restricted that user id to integer so that the user id uh, column is created with the data type integer and name as string now we will uh, see the another approach spark dot create data frame user list then we can pass a list like a list of schema names alone like the the column names alone so that id comma name so that the data frame will be created with the column name id and the name but then the data type will which will be created on by default like long and string now we'll see the now we have seen how to create a uh, single uh, column data frame and a multi column data frame with uh, providing a data type and without providing a data type like schema and without schema now we'll see the next session next topic like overview of a spark row so what is a row in spark 
So let's say if I'm creating a data frame df, which is equal to spark.create data frame using a user list and a user ID and name as an above example. If I do an df.show, it will print as a table like a user ID name with a one Scott and two Donald. DF is nothing but a collection of rows and columns. So in that, if I see do an df.collect, then what I will get, I will get the list like row, uh, the user ID which is equal to 1 and Scott name which is equal to Scott and sec similarly the second row with the user ID is 2 and the name as Donald. So the type of, type of this is list. Okay, now we will see how to import the row. From PySpark.SQL, we can import row. Row is nothing but a built-in tuple. So if the row will have an arguments like, which will have argument and an keyword arguments. Create a row by passing an argument and keyword argument. The first one is like, let's say we have an R which is equal to row. Uh, the name is like, uh, less and one, eleven. Okay, so that right. Uh, the second example is like a row R one, which is equal to row, and we can give the keyword here like name, which is equal to Alice, and the age, which is equal to eleven. The if you do r1 dot name which is using a keyword you will get that the whatever the corresponding value for that in a similar way the r1 of the square bracket you can give the name you will get the the corresponding value for that one so uh, this summarize this uh, today's session like uh, we have seen how to create a, a single column and multi column data frames and uh, what is a row and how to create a row uh, thanks for watching the videos. In the tomorrow's session, we will continue with the rest of the topics. Thank you.